Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about uh, the difference between two things that are very usually used, kind of interchangeable, but they're actually not the same thing at all. And that's beat and rhythm. So uh, you might hear someone say, hey man, I like the beat to this song. And they're normally talking about like the drum beat or whatever, right? So drummers normally know the difference between these two things really well because, well, they're drummers. They kind of have to know what the difference between a beat versus what a rhythm really constitute as. This, is good. this video is kind of oriented more towards guitarists um, because guitarists know all about beat, but when it comes to like different subdivisions, which is what rhythm is, um, they they kind of they kind of you know hang back and uh, don't exactly know the difference. And this is not every guitarist. I'm just speaking in general here. Okay, so I'm not picking on guitars. So let's talk about the difference. Um, beat is exactly that. Okay, a beat is just a pulse that repeats that repeats at certain a certain interval now the closer these intervals are together that's what constitutes as um, the tempo right the tempo is faster or slower so we would call this a faster tempo which means the beats are closer together the pulses are closer together or a slower tempo where the beats are farther apart okay but Beat just means that it's a system of pulses that uh, have the same interval in time between them, right? Now the difference is rhythm actually means that there's usually a characteristic to those different pulses. So uh, a simple example would be um, uh, speaking, actually. Speaking, we normally refer to that as like cadences or phrases. But in reality, everything I'm saying da, 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 has a rhythm to it. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay? So that's why some people are more interesting to listen to than others. Some people have more interesting cadences in their voices and in their speaking tone. Uh, well, actually, tone is a different thing. Sorry. Tone is how it sounds, right? Anyways, that's different. But the rhythms of the, of the articulation of how we talk um, can make someone more interesting than someone else. Same thing in music. Um, how you articulate your ideas on a guitar or whatever can make you more interesting than another guitarist who maybe be um, following more of the beat. So let's talk about that. Um, so we, we learned that rhythm is a characteristic of different pulses that give you a certain pattern normally, right? While beat is just a pulse like your heartbeat so rhythms would be and see that's what drummers do really well we know how to keep a beat or a pulse while also doing characteristic different rhythms okay so a good way for a guitarist to practice this obviously I'm more of a you know drummer than I am guitarist but bear with me okay uh, you, this is what we use metronomes for, right? Metronomes keep a pulse or a beat for us while we do rhythms. So that's our tempo, that's our pulses, that's our beat. Over that, we can do uh, different rhythms. So what makes rhythm interesting, and this is kind of the science of rhythm that drummers know really well, is what's called syncopation. Syncopation is when you take that beat that you know really well, that you can feel, hopefully, that's where, that's where it all starts, by the way, you have to internalize the beat. It all starts there. And you learn how to play other, other um, ideas, other articulations, other hits, outside of that pulse and that's what makes the rhythmic momentum go forward so if you have a metronome going just try to play different
when I was speaking earlier about guitarists, I was really talking more about the terminology. Like, guitarists don't worry so much about eighth notes, quarter notes, triplets, eighth rests, sixteenth rests. Because in reality, right, we, we hear this stuff a lot more than we say, hey, I just played a one E, uh, E, uh, you know, that's drummer stuff. And other, other, other musicians don't get big into the whole what certain spaces of time are because honestly they need to know more about harmony and melody right a guitarist needs to know more about harmony than he does beat per se or rhythm i should say sorry they every musician has to be able to play a beat and follow a beat um so really this just boils down to beat rhythms <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned something today. Be quiet metronome about the difference between beat and rhythm and uh, how um, obviously you need to understand and be able to feel both as a musician. Uh, obviously more advanced certain rhythms take more time, right? to internalize and be able to feel over the beat, but that's why we practice this stuff as musicians. We take metronomes and we put it on some sort of pulse while playing over that, not necessarily the pulse, but different characteristic things that we think sound cool. Thanks for watching today, guys. I'll check you on the next one.